So I'm back in Dead Estate, right? And I've been getting a lot of requests of people just asking me, just asking me over and over again, hey, when are we getting the Cordelia true ending run? When do we get to see Cordelia go to hell? We're gonna go and do that right now, okay? We're gonna- this is it. We're gonna go do it, okay? This is the time. You can also see that I've since gotten, uh, Digby unlocked, um, and gotten Digby's secret ending. If I remember to do so, I'll leave a link to the VOD where you can go and see that secret ending being unlocked because Digby is by far the most difficult character to play in this entire game. Although, literally the day after I got that win, they buffed Digby and made him better, so, uh -huh. Also, what I might show you right now is that Digby's B costume is a Friday Night Funkin' homage because both games originated on Newgrounds, and uh, Jack, the developer of this game, likes to pay tribute to his fellow Newgroundsian uh, game. Now, the Cordelia true ending run, I like Cordelia a lot, you guys like Cordelia a lot, but I actually like her a lot because, because she has different weapons that only she can get, and most of those weapons lend themselves to being very strong at the weapon swap mechanic, which still has not been nerfed or changed. Other stuff has been fixed since. They've gone ahead and done more, attracts more coins towards you from further away, that's lovely. Um, they have gone in and done some other balancing, they've changed other things, they've, they've just adjusted little bugs that were in here and there as well, and made it so that I no longer crash, like I was before, uh, no, don't do that. But she gets so many just nice staves that work so well for weapon swapping, especially, as you know from the last Cordelia run that we did, the bullet stuff, and the ice stuff being probably the best stuff that you can possibly use for this. I'm gonna go back and do that challenge room once I actually do get another weapon because I just like the idea of blitzing it and getting it done and out of the way nice and quick. Can you please die for me? I'm also not paying much attention to secret rooms like I should be. Um, I've seen a lot of people give me the, the, the lowdown, the hints, the help on how to more accurately... Damn, I could not time that worse on how to more accurately see when there's a secret room. So not even just the shadows, but by saying, hey, they can't connect to a special room. So like this it couldn't possibly be a secret room, right? Except it is. <laughs> because it's like, yeah, they can't connect to like a key room or something. But I think what they mean when they say that is that you can't get a secret room from these rooms. That makes sense. But one that I've heard is that you can't get a secret room um, from a floor that connects to multiple rooms. It has to be like a narrow hallway, like the space I just came from. I don't know if this disproves what they were saying um, necessarily. It might be that I was misinterpreting their advice, but it does look like you can get secret rooms on floors that, uh, on, on, on rooms, not even floors. I'm sorry, I'm too busy shooting cysts and having a good time with it. Um, it seems like you can get them there. Just saying. Now, mother, please give me something I'd like. Chance to regenerate health on kill. Release a big explosion when you hit one HP. I don't want any of that. Firing your weapons won't knock you back. That's inconsequential for this. The vampire charm sounds all right, but, 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 we both know that what I really need to do is one, do some quick weapon swaps. What I really need to do is go back to um, Nurse Mum and pick up some of that damage and maybe even agility, you know, one damage, one agility, and do things like that. Maybe even go back and do the boss fight before I loot this weapon in this room up here. What weapon is it? Go the bob on portrait, by the way. I had people pointing out it's literally the exact same thing. You know what? Sell this. Give me that money. Give me that money. I'll take the money instead. That way I can go back and buy stuff as I go by. Um, I've had people point out all the little mini references to like Mario 64, to Zelda. The game is loaded with references, if you couldn't tell. Damn. Um, <laughs> the game is loaded with references to all sorts of, of good stuff. This is why I like uh, indie games like this. This is why I like small games by small developers sometimes because Oh wait, we've got Chunky. Yeah, Chunk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with that weapon swap spam. I'm gonna do the big damage. I'm gonna knock you down, big man. Can you go down for me? Please, 
I, I'm more willing to, to spend the the damage on chunk here than I am on the boss. If I'm if I'm gonna end up spending more here, so be it. Uh, wait, that's not the chaos token. That's genuinely is that the gold coin that keeps me alive when I'm on low life? I'm not sure. But yeah, what I'm getting at is I'd rather spend weapon swaps on um Yo, that's an elite enemy. On challenge rooms and chunk to get them out of the way because they're more difficult than the boss fights. The boss fights uh, save for maybe like one or two later on aren't the biggest problem for me in the world. I really should have saved my, my magnet stuff but it is the it is the medallion that keeps me at, uh, alive when I'm hit zero life. I just lose money instead. I gradually lose money until I run out of cash as well so they have to not only deplete my health but my money before you can kill me. You've got to, you've got to empty my wallets before you can empty my heart and soul. Although I guess with this item, you literally can't empty my heart before I die. It's a bit weird. Don't. Yo, he dropped a cyst right on me as soon as he landed. Okay, buddy, buddy. That's that's a different type of rudeness right there. Now this this is why I'm not too bothered about just using weapon swaps earlier on and selling the weapon in the first place. All it really does is prolong the boss fight by like an extra 40 seconds to a minute or so. And like, I'm not I'm not at risk of losing to the cyst. I'd rather just sell the first magnet stuff when it's got more ammo in it, get more money, and now that I've beaten the boss and I've got my cash, I can run all the way back down to the nurse mama and buy some upgrades. And I think we're gonna get strength and oh look, I can afford more strength. Give me all that strength. We've already got three strength upgrades and one speed upgrade. Here we are again in the first alt area, the dark woods, the dark mood woods, the dark forest place. It's it's dark and it's moody. Um, kill that guy, kill this guy. I had people laughing and pointing out when I was running through last time in my last video when I came here um, in the Lydia run that it had the easiest to see secret room ever because there was simply a hole in the fence. Ah, the 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 rhetoric stuff, the rhetorical stuff, the haha you're an idiot stuff. We love this thing, don't we? I got stuck on a bush. How do you get stuck on a bush? Just go through the damn thing. How do you get stuck on a bush? I'm gonna kill this bush just for what it did to me. But they were laughing at the fact that the secret room was so easy because of the hole in the in the fence. And I didn't increase jump height. Thank you, Chalk Bunny. And I didn't like go into it as soon as I went past it. Did I even go into it at all actually or did I miss it? Was that why they were laughing at me? I may have not even gone into the secret room which now I understand. If that if I didn't, now I know why people were laughing at the fact that I, I might have missed the secret. Because genuinely would be really stupid easy to, to see that. And so how did I not? I'm sorry. I apologize. There it is right there. Look, this is exactly what I was talking about. There's the secret. <laughs> Yay. It's amazing, right? I also have a habit of clearing out this area relatively quickly because it's rather small. It's not very big, and I don't kill Chunk on this floor very often, but I, I kind of do want to kill Chunk to get more money. I've, I need that cash. I'm sick of repeating it, but money is power, and we need all the power that we can get. I love doing this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the, look at the rotation. Look at the cycle. Get shot, dude. Get got. Get shot. Bats! I can hover in the air and hit the bats more easily thanks to my skill. I'm, I'm, I'm a witch, as you know. I'm actually disappointed that there's no, like... Witch's broom upgrade for her that lets her stay in the air longer and things like that just to really play into the witch aspect but I guess that'd be kind of niche wouldn't it and it wouldn't really play into I mean it would actually do all right with that item that makes you move faster when you're in the air which it does stack with her floating ability but I want to be able to fly why can't I just have her fly can I get a flavor item like like a broom that makes it so that she stays in the air longer just, just as flavor, you know? She also completely ruins this guy's fight because she can hover in the air and hit him whether he's in the air or not. But also, she can literally just fly right over all of his jumps, all of his all of his spikies on the ground. On the second floor, and I'm already feeling powerful enough to go and kill Diavola right now. Show her to me. Show her to- okay, maybe not. That, that damage wasn't as big as I thought it would be. Give me a better weapon, then show Diavola to me. There needs to be an option. Go straight to Diavola. Go straight to the secret ending. You've earned it, kid. Go go take down big demon demon milf lady. Go do it. Which, by the way, ah, oh, that little little ah, oh, the leeches, dude. The leeches are gonna kill me before anything else does. 
I, the thirst, the sheer thirst that I saw in, in my comment section for Diavola. There's an ice staff, lovely. Um, I don't think I'll come and buy it, though. I want to save money for just, like, passive upgrades. I'm not sure I'll buy it. Um, but the sheer thirst in the comments over the Diavola demon girl from the last uh, Dead Estate video. My god, people. I, I thought that Corey, I thought that Cordelia and her mum were, were the, the problems that I had to worry about with you guys in the comments, but as soon as, as soon as a, a red lady with a cape and, and a really mean disposition shows up, all of you guys are like, wow, Beals, Beals was a thing, and now I've got a new demon overlord to worship, and, and it just makes me feel okay, to be honest, because I don't, I don't need, I don't need people in, in, in my demonic company who are so easily persuaded by demonic boobage. <laughs> I just said demonic boobage with a straight face. <laughs> demonic boobage. Ah, oh, not the SCP to go away, go away. Barker, leave. Out of my way. Is Barker one of the words that can come out? Can Jack? Jack? I know Jack's not watching this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Jack as though he can see see what I'm see what I'm saying, hear what I'm saying. Jack. Can we add Barker to the the uh, rhetoric rhetoric staff's list of insults? I would love for this stick to, to call someone a Barker as it spits at someone. Mostly because only Cordelia can use it, and I think it would just suit. Briefly move a lot faster when you enter a room. Diet pills. Now we can zip through rooms. Even quicker and more speedy. Thankfully, her basic stick is doing a lot of damage thanks to those strength upgrades that I got, which is the whole reason why I got the strength upgrades in the first place, not just so that we could oh, put an end to tyranny, but also so that I could stand a fighting chance when I run out of my second weapon, because I know me, and I am most likely going to just burn ammunition um, like like it grows on, on trees, which it really doesn't. Although, how does the rhetoric... Really? I thought you were high enough in the air that you weren't going to bop me. I guess it did. How does the rhetoric stuff run out of- Fun sticks! I still have no idea what the fun sticks do. Another- By the way, thank you to everyone who helped me out with the Breeze Pods, uh... Uh, dilemma. After the last video by pointing out that it makes everything into, uh, Nightcore. Which, I, I already suppose that that was the case, but I was kind of curious if there was anything else to it. I saw someone suggest that it might- Have I really not found the secret room here? Um, someone else suggested it might also speed up my attack speed in the same way that the Night Core is faster in a high pitch. That I was getting a very small, barely noticeable speed boost to my attacks. And I don't know if I noticed that necessarily. If it is doing that, then it really is minor. But the, the, the musical change was definitely something that, well, not definitely noticeable, but I did suppose that that was the case. And I think you're right. I think you guys are right in that in that assumption. Wait, the Ace of Spades. Damage from melee weapons. She literally gets none. Chance to block damage when you have less than 100 bucks. And the Peanut Butter Bunny. You know what? I might buy the Peanut Butter Bunny. And do I want the Beef Ramen? You know what? Why not? All I have to do is ensure that I blow all of my cash in the last area before I go and fight um, the Evola. Which is, that's the reason why I'm, the only boss fight that I'm worried about at this point is Diavola. But as long as I blow all of my cash, I did not find a secret room on this floor, did I? No, where is my secret room? Hang on. I also just burned a lot of ammunition on Chunkster, but I think it was worth it because Chunky is still probably the biggest threat um, in the area. You know what, I'll go do the boss fight first and once the boss is done, I'll do a quick lap around and try and find the secret room. That way you guys can at least see me do the boss. The- oh, the Resident! I don't actually fight the Resident all that often. Where is he? There he is. Thankfully, the Fire Staff has this nice little niche benefit of setting him on literal fire so that I can see where he is, even when he's invisible. Um, get outplayed quite literally, you stupid ghost. There we go. Turns out it was in this room the entire time. Let me sell this stick off for my seven dollars, pick up the insult stick, and make my way out. We're done here. I decided against buying the ice staff back at the last floor because it's just gonna get used up and it's it's effectively just a waste of money at that point if it's just gonna be used. Um, I may as well at the very least uh, put it to... Yo, cheeky ghosts, stop it. Can I get in the air? Can I hit them? Stop it. Stop it. Go away. 
Thank you. At the very least, I should put this this stuff to at least a little bit of use and save money. Um, although I do want more damage, I've realized that my, my actual items that I've gotten aren't very good in terms of literally boosting my damage up a whole bunch. It's mostly like little passive things here and there, which I'm pretty used to. There's a lot of uh, flavor in the game. So things like, you know, absorbing money, staying alive, jump height, move faster in rooms, increase max HP, block damage. I've literally got nothing that's boosting my damage output. It's all just stuff that makes me cooler, I guess. Um, my mother would be proud. Now, what is alive in this room? Oh, it's a leech. A literal single leech was preventing me from being able to move on. Uh, kill you, I guess. The rat's gonna come out and almost run into my, my path. Die. Come in here and get my item. What's my item? Give me something really good. Chance to obtain ammo after taking damage. The blood bullets. I also had it pointed out that if you have the item that gives you ammo when you get hurt, and the item that, uh, the lead gut, that I believe makes ammo turn into hearts, it effectively means that when you get hit, you can stay alive permanently. However, I've, I've noticed it was the exact same thing that they changed with... I forget what it was, but there was an item that... When you destroy a weapon, you get an item chest. Um, I forget what it's called, but I, I do know of it. Um, basically what Jack did when he when he put out a recent update, I don't think it was the 1.1, it might have been 1.0 before 1.1.1. He changed it so that all of these items that were giving guaranteed effects, which I think Blood Bullets might have been one of them, he simply changed it so that they have a chance to do their effects, and they're not guaranteed. Because a lot of these effects were guaranteed, and that's part of the problem, and why people were getting such strong effects. Um, and so strong builds, like staying alive permanently, or just literally building up so much damage and power through sacrificing weapons, that it was actually a smart play to go to a weapon vendor and buy out all of her weapons, just to destroy them and obtain better items, because it's cheaper to buy items than it is to pay three to five hundred gold to the shop, and you just, you're playing with the lottery right there, you can get anything. Um, especially if you had, there was another item that you could compound on top of that. Yo, ice stuff? Thank you, you shouldn't have. Um, kind of useless in this fight. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to freeze this boss. By nature, it doesn't seem like it should freeze, but I guess we'll find out. Um, there's also another item that you could get whenever you just, whenever you get a chest in the game. Whenever you get an item chest, you always get two chests instead of just one. Wow, my speed increase. I just ran into that rat. I ran at that rat. I was hungry, what can I say? Unfortunately, it was it was toxic. I wasn't allowed to eat it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what I was getting at was he's uh he's nerfed a lot of these items that had guaranteed effects and made them a chance-based thing. Which some people were confused in the last video because they were saying why weren't you immortal? Because you literally had a build that should make you immortal with the Lydia run. Um, that's why. Now you know why. Also, I find this hilarious that Cordelia just neuters this guy's fight. Um. In particular, that slamming attack when it comes down, he tries to bump fists against me. Now, can I freeze this guy? I'm not even sure I can. No. No, you can't freeze him. The ice stuff, unfortunately, is a little bit wasted here. I wonder if it's even worth... Ouch. Thanks for the ammo, kid! I, I messed up. I didn't, I didn't actually pick up the ammo with the right weapon, did I? That's another one that I need to thank you guys for. They were saying if you don't loot the ammo with your secondary weapon, it's wasted. And to me, I'm like, wait, really? If the main weapon doesn't even have ammo, why even make that a thing? Yeah, I figured as much. I don't even need to use the ice stick. If I just save it, it won't get wasted that way, whereas... Do it. Whereas if I just sit here and use my normal attack, it does enough damage that it's gonna proc his, uh, his next phase. It's fine. We'll just sit here and do it the normal way. It's interesting that some of the alt fights, like besides Pumpkin, the big pumpkin dude uh, in the Halloween place, is, is the exception, but all the other bosses have phases, and you can't really break them out of their phases. Um, oh good, we got the item. You can't break them out of their phases, it's like, it's locked in. If you, if you want, I need to get Chunk. That's what I was waiting for, Chunk. Where's Chunky Boy? There he is. Almost got me, dude. I got stuck on that table for a second. Thankfully, we can stun lock him here on the table with the ice stick. At least the ice stick gets to do something. There, die. <coughs> I couldn't do anything. Ugh. Jack, please don't nerf the ice stick. 
Please don't nerf this ice stuff. It's so fun, dude. Don't nerf it. Let it stay. Let it stay. <laughs> Please let it stay. <laughs> I need to see how it works on Diavola at the very least. Here we are. Floor three. Woo! Floor three is so far. Let me, let me throw some damage at this big floating heart and then bully some rabbits. There we go. Um, you'll notice I throw out my, my secondary weapon and I'll, I'll burn some ammo when I first get into a room. If there's a whole bunch of stuff on the screen, but once, you know, the dominant problems are taken care of, or at least the herd has been fend a little bit, I'm alright just going to basic weapon to finish things off. Like, in this room, realistically, I sh- Ow. I was literally going to say, realistically in this room, I shouldn't be wasting my ice stick, because, <laughs> it's just two dudes and a heart. Easy room, not even a problem. Let's go in here. What is that? Oh, that's the X marks the spot. Right? That's the map. Map is actually kind of neat. Kind of useful, not gonna lie. Kind of useful map. Yo, nice damage. Nice. Uh, come down here. These things I will burn some some resources to kill. There we go. Just, just because I want to get this done in time, and I, I literally get nothing out of this if I don't at least beat it in time. So I'd rather spend the resources. There we go. It is X marks the spot. Yay, we can see secret rooms. Um, I see the secret room. Ah, no, it's you. Dude, this, this thing is a nightmare. This thing is a nightmare. Please, why does it exist? I hate fighting it. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. I haven't been on full life in a while. Whoa, dude. I almost ran straight into that. The speed boost when I enter a new room is nice, but at the same time... I am liable to hurt myself quite severely. I think on this floor I get the nurse again, right? So I think I can max out my damage. Maybe just boost my speed a little bit. I really do like getting bonus movement speed. To me, getting mobility is very important. It allows me to run circles around chunks. It lets me evade some of the enemies that are more annoying, like... Like those big women's that like to run at you. Any enemy that likes to run at you. Um, but... I just don't prioritize max life as much as I probably should. And I mean, like, I really should because I am by no means great at this game. I'm not... I'm not good at these types of games. I was about to check the wall for a secret floor... Secret... Secret wall door floor... What am I saying? I was about to check for a secret room and I forgot already that I've got the map and I'm allowed to see where the secret room is automatically. Die. Those enemies. I like having speed for those enemies ones like that that are really gross and awful and just yuck get out of my face give me the key get me in here get me oh irritating oh look now the bunny runs away bunny's like oh no my ninjas have been thwarted quick i better leg it into a hole and and come back with a sneak attack oh no yeah these dudes these dudes too yeah thanks for the heart though all these creepers that come running at you. I hate it, dude. I hate it. Especially these ones. These enemies are actually, like, one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. So, well done. Well done for that, if that's what you're after. Sup, mum. I missed you. The Ace of Clubs. Increased damage from machine guns. Also useless to me. Bullets shoot further. Mm, sorry, farther. And then gunpowder. Increase the size of all explosions. There is a rocket staff that this would work for. I might go with scope. Just for, the, just for the fun of it, to be able to shoot a little bit further away, but... I'm not sure it's even necessary, really. I think... I think scope is... I mean, yeah, it's doing something. I'm not sure it's necessary, but... Ah, just do it because I can. Yo! Yo, you changed quick! How does she change that fast? She had cake batter and stuff all over How do you change so quickly? My god, there was a lot of speaking right there. Uh, strength max, agility at two, bonus life at two. I'm gonna interject in this chunks fight for a second and say that apparently one of the small hot fixes or changes that Jack made was that chunk can no longer super jump. So I guess that means if you've got a double jump or a way of getting more height in the air, does that mean chunk can't actually reach you anymore? Are you too able to reach heights too high for him to actually reach? Also get the last speed increase right there. So now with Maximum movement speed, we are zipping something fierce out here. Come in here and break this so we can head back to the start. 
Um, interesting choice to make Chunk no longer be able to super jump. I think it was because in higher loops, um, Chunks gradually just gets faster and faster and faster based on how fast you are and the difficulty you're playing on. There's a lot of ways that Chunky Boy gets a bit tougher, especially looping your run. Um, maybe it's a way of, of kind of curbing the fact that he becomes very threatening? I don't know, later on. I'm not sure. Whoa, that movement speed. These rabbits think they're fast. You have seen nothing, bunny boy. Bring it, rabbit. Bring it, rabbit. I'll make a stew out of you. Die. Man, this movement speed when you enter a room. Ooh, it's juicy. Look, look at this flying speed. That's silly. That's actually silly. Give me a good weapon. Fire staff. Actually, the fire staff's not that bad. I don't mind the fire stick. The fire stick is all right. I will, I will accept this stick. I will accept it. Although my item, enemies have a tiny chance to drop items. Rusty key, oh, the key, dude. Rusty key is kind of nice. Enemies having a chance to drop items. Now I haven't tested. I haven't tested this and I'll probably forget to do it, right? Don't, don't get mad at me if I mention this and then forget to do it. Because I've got the memory of like five goldfish that have all been hit over the head with a really bad memory stick. Um, which is actually a fallacy. Goldfish don't have bad memories, to my knowledge. Um, especially if you can train a goldfish to press a button to get food, as is the case for some smart goldfish out there. Maybe it's just that that was one very special goldfish. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> before I went off on a goldfish tangent... Um, die clown. Before I went off on a goldfish tangent, uh, I haven't tested yet, but there are enemies in the final act, those giant leech enemies and the ghost enemies that uh, summon little spawn of themselves, right? Little extra enemies. The last time I was doing stuff there, uh, killing those enemies was counting for kill requirements for certain effects. If it's the case that I can literally farm those enemies for items and health and wealth and all that kind of stuff, wouldn't that be wild? Wouldn't that be actual ridiculous? I'll try and remember, but I guarantee I'll forget. This is a dead end. Mr. Moneybags, having over 700 bucks grants a damage boost. This is actually going to conflict heavily with my, where is it? My beef ramen. So one of two things happens. I get a lot of money and get a big damage boost, or I decide to go broke and get a chance to block damage. Either way, I've got quite the run ahead of me, and hopefully I won't die. I've got the blood stuff, because I'm going to grab the key. The game is going to fake crash on us. It literally, by the way, I've noticed in my pop-up, it doesn't show you. In, in my recording, it doesn't show you, but there is an actual pop-up, like a, a proper Windows pop-up that says, oh no, this application has crashed. But you don't see it in my my recording. Um, it doesn't show up, which unfortunate, but still. It's really cool and, and creates a very uh, scary effect the first time you have this happen. But time for the ghost fight. What up, ghost dude, or flaming ghost... Pillar doofus dude. Summon summon your problems. Go ahead, dude. Summon your problems. Uh, I don't want to get hit here at all, ever. Look at the little smile on his face. I love how smug this little guy is. He's, he's just so smug. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm a problem. You know it. Yo! They dropped an item. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This guy's and This... This guy's worms! I just got hit. This guy's worms have... Dude. Dude, that's... That's actually bonkers. I killed him in one cycle, but I probably shouldn't have because I'm... You can farm him! Destroying weapons gives you more money. So, I mean, I guess that's confirmation that if you get an item that works based on the death of enemies, you can literally farm the third alt area boss, the ghost. You can farm him for it if, if you want. You can, yep. I'm also noticing my damage has gone up noticeably by having more than 700 bucks. Might be worthwhile to not go for the broke strategy because this damage is real nice. This damage is actually like real nice. What up, mama? Tax forms, uh, no. No. Lose a dollar every second while in combat but gain damage proportional to your money. I mean, this just plays into the money bags run, but I don't think I really want it. Instead, 
Chance for your shots to knock enemies further back is just handy to have. Yo, demonic currency! Demonic currency, yeah! Mama's cookies replace your bullets with cookies and increase their damage. This is actually just nice to have. I love shooting cookies. I love shooting Mama's cookies. It's it's just a nice thing. I, I want this. You want this? We all want this. Another blood stuff? That's fine. I'm gonna use up my first blood stuff before I go getting another blood stuff. I touched I touched toxic somehow. I, I'm too fast for my own good. I touched. I shouldn't have, but I did. How are you not dead? Yo, die. Thank you. Sir. Good sir. Die. Move into this room. One of you. The blood stuff doesn't... It's not bad, but it's definitely not my weapon of choice. I'll give you that. Most definitely not. I wouldn't mind having found a better weapon out of the weapon box. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not... Am I even hitting? with the blood stuff in some of these attacks? Feels like I'm not. There we go. Moving through here. Oh, it's the roided dude. Watch out. Roid pig is gonna get you. Uh, shoot all of this. I've also had people asking about Cordelia's bee costume. Um, I've looked into some of the bee costumes. I have... Whose costumes do I have? Jules, I've got Digby's. Um, Lydia's is probably the hardest one to get. I know how to get most of the alt costumes now. I just haven't gone out of my way to get them. But, uh, Cordelia's alt costume is difficult in that the only way to get it is to, like, you get Cordelia's B costume by getting every other B costume for all the other characters. And the reason why that's a bit of a problem is Lydia, right? Lydia is the issue when it comes to getting that, that achievement, basically, to get all the other B costumes. Because Lydia's is to clear a run and not break a single pot. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there are a lot of pots in some of these areas, and even if you're trying to not break the pots, the sheer likelihood that you're going to accidentally nuke a small, a small blue pot off in the distance while shooting at enemies, it's just, it's probable, okay? It, it, I mean, I haven't... I gave it a half-hearted attempt at getting the achievement when I did another Lydia run. I was already- I was doing it for another reason and I thought, hey, uh, what if I just try and not shoot pots? And I think I got up to the third area, but by that point, I'd boosted up my power on Lydia a lot and then she just ended up- by, by no- by no means, she just accidentally ended up destroying pots with her pepper spray, just running through the room, spraying at enemies, doing circles. Fire faster, fear itself, lovely. Um, so that's- that's gonna be an issue. Uh, I've got Digby's, I've got- I don't have Fuji's. I think Fuji's is to beat the game on- on a higher difficulty, like beat the- get the true ending on a higher difficulty. Is that the holster? I think that's the holster, which gives me an extra weapon slot? I'm not sure. I haven't got a second weapon, actually, which is ironic, because I may not be able to do this if I don't have another weapon. I've kind of maybe screwed myself on this one. But we'll see. Roid pigs. Big piggies. Big piglets. Big boys. Don't touch that, it's bad stuff. Oh no, we did it. Cool. It is the holster. Extra weapon slot. So this gives you the same effect that Lewis has. Um, the police officer. He... Oh wait, Chunks is after us? Did I even hear the sound? I didn't even hear it. I guess I'll just get some free pot shots off on Chunks then. If I can do this, if I can actually wedge Chunks in between this... Wait, is the goo hurting Chunks? No, it doesn't look like it. If I can wedge Chunks in between the goo, I can kind of... He, he's getting hurt by Chunks. Chunks is hurting that goo. I didn't realize Chunks hurt the enemies. Has Chunks always hurt the enemies or is it just the goo? I've literally never seen that. At least I don't think I have. Maybe I haven't, I just haven't committed it to memory. Whatever, dude. Um, point being, Cordelia's bee costume, hard to get, because other people's bee costumes are a little bit tough to get. Some of them are. Lydia's is real rough. Weapon room. What have you got for us, mama? I kind of want a better weapon. I might buy the bullet stuff, to be honest. Um, but I'll, I'll save it for now. I can't remember, when I went to the weapon room on this floor, did I actually take the weapon or have I left it? Because if I've left it, I don't need to really worry about it. I can just go back and get it again later. Once I'm done clearing out the rest of this place. Die. Man, flying is so nice. Cordelia is so good because she can fly. There are so many enemies that just... 
I don't know. I don't know if it's actually doing as much as I'm claiming that it is. But to me, the ability to float is just useful, and it feels good to float. It feels nice, you know. Does anyone else feel that way, or is it just me? Secret room, a little bit of money. That's not bad. Give me all this stuff. Let's go. I'm gonna run back to the the weapon box for a second, just to double check and make sure if I actually took the weapon out of it. No, I didn't. It's the blood stick. Uh, I really don't want to keep the blood stick. You know what I might do is sell the blood stick. If trade in, I'm curious if trade in gives me more money back. Um, like enough cash that it comes out a net positive to sell a full ammo weapon. We've tried doing this before on stream and usually it doesn't work out too smooth. So at the very least, I need 180 bucks back for this to be a worthwhile trade. How much do I get? 152. Not quite. If I got the item that reduces store cost by 25%, I think at that point it literally becomes a net positive to just empty out the weapon shop. Buy weapon, sell weapon, buy sell. Until you've just got the last one. I think it becomes a net positive at that point. Or you've got other bonuses like selling a weapon gives you a chance to get an item, which is that that effect that I told you about that was nerfed to have a chance. Things like that and become more worthwhile. There's there's a lot of fun ways to manipulate the game um, through items. It's it's one of those things that I think people who are a big fan of like Isaac and games like this just love is manipulating things and just doing stupid stuff to make things broken. I think that's one of the main draws to games like this or yo yo tentacles. Creepy dude. I think that's one of the main draws to games like this and like Risk of Rain and Isaac and, and ones like that is is that they don't compromise on power. It's like, yeah, we want we want the player to feel like they can become ridiculously powerful, but at the same time, it doesn't change the risks associated. So you can loop runs, you can obtain godlike status and ludicrous levels of power, but it can still be taken away really quickly. And I think players just enjoy that. I think that's just a fun thing that people like to do is to feel super powerful. And then the heartache associated with, oh no, I had all this power and I threw it all away and I, I died and damn it, that's the rhetoric stuff. I don't want that. Um, I think that's a good time. Okay, that was cheeky. I, I didn't, do they actually just, yeah, they do. I didn't even see the water spout. They show you the the little water spot where they're going to appear. But I honestly thought I was going to get away from that without getting touched. I am just goes to show how foolish I am to think that. This is so relaxing, by the way. I apologize if I seem a little bit too mellow and I'm not, you know, super excited about stuff. But oh, it's this room. When I first came into the room with all these, I, I started shooting around, hitting them, thinking that these were like enemies. Because they get number values when they when they get hit, they show you damage numbers, and it's like, oh no, I'm dying, help, help, I'm so dead, I'm screwed. Why are there so many? And I freaked out. But uh, like I was saying, I apologize if the, the, the more cool demeanor... Yo, Magikarp, go away, is, uh, I don't know, not what you expected from a, a really strong Cordelia run. But it's so relaxing. A UFO buddy attacks enemies with its tractor beam. Where's my UFO friend? There he is! We've got a friend! Look at him! Woo! Get him, little UFO buddy. He's gonna he's gonna abduct some people. Probe them. Give them a probe. Tell them what for. I missed the secret room. I'm stupid. Go in here. Um, what's in this? The magnet stuff? Okay, we've got some we've got some options. What was the other stick? The rhetoric stuff? I think it was. Is it rhetoric or rhetoric? I'm saying both. I'm kind of alternating. Hoping that one way or another. I'll land it. Um, I know when you say, like, it's a rhetorical question. I understand that. And it's like, but I also know rhetoric. And it's like, it, it, I think the pronunciation alternates a little bit. Or I'm an, a complete idiot and I'm just messing it up. I should know this. It's not as though I'm not educated. I have some, some education. But actually, you know what? I'm going to bullet stuff this guy beforehand. Um, I also heard a little a handy tip that apparently this Kraken boss cannot physically hit you if you're behind it? Is that true? If I get behind this guy... Wow. So I took a single plip of damage just by going behind him. He must have touched me with his big stupid head. But... 
Huh? There we go. I was about to say, give me that. But it didn't look like he, was, he wasn't hitting me after I got behind him. Oh, there you go. That's how you can take care of the uh, the squid lips boss. Quick and effectively, I guess, is... um. Wait, maybe it was a blood staff that was over here at the weapon place. Hang on. No, it's definitely the rhetoric staff, but you know what? Now that I'm here, I'll just sell it and get the, the full money for it anyway. I don't think I actually finished my train of thought from before when I was saying that my demeanor isn't as excited. That's just because I'm I'm relaxed and having a good time. Finally, dude. Finally. Um, it's so, I, I don't know why, but Dead Estate just has that kind of chill, relaxed feel to me. Which might seem silly, considering that stuff like this happens where Big Chunky Boy comes after you. But it's just, it's so soothing to run through these places and just fight and go do these cool things. It's nice, you know, it's nice. I enjoy it, it's a fun time. And I'm able to just relax and talk to you guys and and just talk about dumb stuff. Like, uh, like uh, oh, um, this might be a good time to, to pre-warn people, because I haven't done it in any of the other videos this week. Um, next week, the week after, like, you'll see this video, but the, the following week after you get this video, there might potentially be a slowdown in videos. It's my, my birthday is next Wednesday, and, um, there's a lot of, like, little planning and things like that. Apparently it's a milestone. I don't really, I don't really care um, that much about milestone birthdays and stupid stuff like that. But there, there is a lot of planning going into what I'm doing next week, and part of it is just taking a bit of a break at the same time. Um, so there's no streams happening on this weekend coming up, as well as the video stuff might slow down. I have basically said that even though the streams might be more than likely off, that I'm still going to put videos out, or at least, you know, one or two videos out here and there. Maybe some, like, some quick skull ones, or some little ones here and there, but just to get something out, there might be some stuff there, but this is just a pre-warning. If you're concerned or confused as to why there may not be any videos uh, next week, now you know why. Now, anyway, back to the topic at hand. Uh, Mother is wet and the Ancient Urn is not helpful. Raging Fire and Ancient Urn both in the same, the same pool. I mean, gain damage and fire rate at one life as well as damage every enemy in the room. Does that mean that Raging Fire would trigger Ancient Urn to do more damage? Uh, gold coins never drop, but silver coins become worth more. See you later, Corey. Not really fast on any of that, to be honest. Do I have to... I might have to actually um, do this without getting all my nice bonuses. The Half Heart Locket, Heart Pot spawn more often. I mean... That's nice. I might just sell my Magnet Stick. I mean, the, the Thunderbolt weapon is... is um, a little bit rough, and I apologize in advance if it's loud. I may have to turn the game down a little bit because I'm just gonna buy these. Forget it. Um, also, let's let's buy this Ambrosia while I'm here. I've got the money for it, and we're not gonna end up spending any more cash until we get to the next area. Open it. Open it. Give me the give me the the, the serum. Yes, antidote. Get. I actually did a dumb, by the way. I did such a big dumb, and I I'm pretty sure Jack also fixed this. Jack, I don't know if I, I... It's so presumptuous to assume that anyone is seeing anything that I'm doing. Like, anyone involved with the production of this game. Even though the the actual uh, distributors, the the, <laughs> the publishers, um, have commented in the, the comments of, of my videos for Dead Estate before. I don't know if he sees this, but I did a dumb on stream over the weekend when I last played Dead Estate. Where I wanted to antidote chunks... But I did, I did the dumbest thing. I ended up just, it was a looped run with um, Mumba. And I had so much damage that I killed Chunks before the antidote could stick into him. And lo and behold, like a day or two later, an update comes out saying that the antidote will now stick itself in Chunks. That if you have the antidote with you, it will hit Chunks before, or at least Chunks can't die, I think it was. You can't kill Chunks if you have the antidote with you, so you're guaranteed to not accidentally skip. Because what happened was, Chunks died, and the animation for the witch flying by and dropping the rocket launcher, all of that stuff played, as well as the antidote stuck him at the same time. But it was too late, I'd won the run normally, and I never got to go to the final area, so I didn't get Mumba's true ending. And I just thought it was really cool, and I want to give massive props to Jack and everyone else involved with the the creation, the production, and, and just the the maintenance of this game for being so on top of all these things. Did my UFO friend get left behind? No! Open it up again. 
Press the button. Press the button. My alien friend. Alan! And we're here. Alan's back. Yes! Yes! I'm so excited. Alan, my alien friend. Um, by the way, where is that from? I'm, I'm not, that's not an original thing. I'm lifting that from somewhere. Oh my God, lightning, please. Oh, you see? <laughs> oh my God, that guy got messed up. One, where is Alan the alien from? That is not an original thing. I am, I am definitely lifting that from someone or somewhere else. I, I have no idea who Alan the alien is. Also, I'm gonna grab this right now. Also, lightning bolt is a hard weapon to use just because when you start shooting with it, the enemy starts, ah, bouncing around the room and has a very high likelihood to bounce into you. Get away, dude. Get away. As you can see. No, no, no. Perish. What's this? Ah, bro. Bro, I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with that. That's terrifying. Uh, vials just contain a little more money. Mm, Mr. Silver Pendant. Thank you for giving me this when I really don't need it, but... Wait! WAIT! I have to remember. Let this guy summon things. This is what we we're gonna do. Alan. Alan's messing this guy up. I need to kill this thing's summons. It's spawn. To see if these things... Look, it drops hearts. They're dropping hearts. Okay, they're dropping hearts at the very least. This is good. This is good. So we can farm this guy for hearts at the very least. But can I get items from it using my... Is Alan slowing this thing down that much? Oh my god, Alan! Alan is broken! Little Alan the alien? Dude! Dude! Dude, you're a champion! I accidentally killed that thing. What was the item? The rusty key? Damn it, I need... I need to... I, I still, I'm still testing it, dude. I'm, I'm not letting this go. I need to see. <laughs> That's also super stupid and funny and jank. Taser, bullets have a chance to stun enemies. Um, fantastic. I'm not sure how well that plays into the, the fight that I'm going to be getting into. Another one! I love how much that sounds like a hyper beam or something straight out of Pokemon, right? It's like, I'm, I'm charging up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's, it's so good, dude. Just, no, die. Go away. Now, Alan, slow that guy down. Um, give me a second, guys. I'm going to allow this thing to put a whole bunch of enemies on the screen. So give me a sec. I just realized if Alan kills that thing before he can summon more, I think all the little, the little mini enemies disappear all at the same time. So I'm going to quickly kill these things off while Alan is doing what he do. Because I don't, I don't want to miss this chance again. I'm not going to get too many more of these enemies to test this on. It looks exactly, by the way, like the ghost, uh, the, the Marowak ghost from, from Gen 1 Pokemon at the, uh, the Silphco Tower. When you find it, these enemies look just like that. They also look a lot like the little ghost uh, sprite enemies from a game called Mistover. Which, fun fact, Mistover was one of the... Oh god, no, this one again. Mistover was the second game I ever streamed on ye old Twitch. Way back in the day when I first started streaming, um, I played Classic WoW when Classic WoW launched. I've told this story a bit, but just for the sake of saying it again and having something to talk about while I clear through these enemies. Um, I played Classic WoW when it launched and streamed it. And when I stopped playing Classic WoW, I played Mistover, which is kind of like anime Dark Souls in a way. Uh, did I say anime Dark Souls? Anime Darkest Dungeon. Um, anime Dark Souls is a little wish no better, which I still have to release at some point because Kyo will get mad at me if I don't. But, oh wait, 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 more, more enemies that summon stuff. Look, look at all the leeches, dude. Ah, dude, dude. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna crash the game. I'm gonna crash, I need to be careful. I'm gonna crash the game. Can I get items from this though? I can, dude, confirmed. Confirmation, this leech thing? Probably one of the best enemies in the entire goddamn game. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, you can do that! You could do that! So I got increased damage for shotguns, which is not what I need. But the sheer fact that you can you can farm these enemies for for on-kill things like hearts, that is 
brilliant. Please don't nerf this Jack. <laughs> wait, wait, summon more. Summon more, you stupid big leech. So wait, it's because every time the big leech takes damage, it summons a big, a small leech. That's what's happening. So Alan is actually, Alan is the linchpin. Alan is the reason. Alan, you're the key. I don't have a way of killing all these things really quickly, so I'm actually in a little bit of trouble. There's an item. There's an item. Wait, that's the Iron Heart item. Cool. Item get. He killed it! Alan killed that thing on its own! Damn, Alan the Alien is amazing. I'm pretty sure these little buddy um, enemy uh, friend item thingies are new, too. They weren't in the game originally. I think he added these during, like, the Halloween update. Dude, sick. Sick. This is also just more money at the same time. For getting all these extra hearts. This this is sick. This is amazing. I love it. I did have one left. I thought I used up my my oh man. There. What the hell happened there? Did Alan kill that? Wait a minute. I'm con I'm confused. It's kinda like Alan is doing a lot, but I'm not sure if he's doing all of it or if it's just me. No. 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 Hold up. I can kill all of these, dude. I can kill all of these. By the way, I didn't hover over this. Destroying a weapon with full ammo raises max HP. Another reason to go in and clear out... This is what I was saying about items that want you to destroy weapons. There's another one that gives you an item or a chance for an item box or an item in general. No, yeah, an item in general after you destroy a weapon. Um, a, a full ammo weapon specifically. Uh, what do we got here? The Chaos Token. Uh, this is literally, even for a meme, I don't go to another floor, so there's no need. Weapons release a large explosion when they're destroyed or run out of ammo. Uh, why not? And the Ball and Chain. Just give me both. Also, we found Mum in Hell. I just need to quickly point out, Mum in Hell is... is look, look how wholesome and nice this lady is. She's got the little heart on her chest. She's got the little cross. She's got wonderful little smile and little rosy cheeks. She's the best. She's absolutely the best. We love mama. We love, we love cool, uh, witch waifu mum. Which, isn't it, isn't it just adorable the idea, the, the sheer idea that this lady is, is an actual witch or potentially just involved in, in evil shit. Because Cordelia's a witch. Her dad is a scientist that literally opened up a portal to hell, basically. And mum just, she just bakes. She plays tennis on the weekends. She's just modest, everyday suburban mum. And I love her for it because she's so nice. I guarantee you she's the real problem too. You can just tell that like anime logic is at play here. And she's like an Unohana out of out of Bleach. Sorry for nerding out on you guys, but she's just like, I, I, I will not mess around, you know, screw with me and I'll end you kind of deal. I guarantee you that mum is the real danger. Um, I'm just maxing out hearts because why not? Why not at this point? I should have done this sooner so that I could boost up my my prowess afterwards. Oh wait, Leech. Leech. It's not too late. It's not too late. I was speaking too soon. Okay, I swear. I swear if Alan actually kills that thing. Because I'm not touching it. I actually can't touch it right now. There's too many mini leeches in the way for my shots to get through. I'm so lucky that I can fly. Dude. Dude, there's so many leeches on the screen. But no golden leeches. Yo, why can't this thing drop golden leeches? You would think that the mother of all le It killed it! Alan! You're a monster! Yo, Alan's actually a beast! I'm sorry that I keep calling him Alan, but that's just my name for him now. He is Alan the Alien. Look at this! I'm so glad I can kill these things in a single shot, by the way. How many leeches are left here? Dude. Accidentally discovering something. I'm not... Damn it, is this gonna be called rigged as well? I'm not touching anything to do with files. Shut up. Shut up, all of you. Chat, shut up. Ah, oh, power, dude. Money, power, damage, good stuff. Now, uh, another magic stuff. It's basically just another stick that mimics the one I've already got. Now, I can have up to three weapons still, right? Um, I might buy the magnet stick first. Now, with the magnet stick, can I... Hang on, I need to test this. If I buy this magic stick... There we go, I've got my three weapons, right. 
So the magnet stick out of all of these might be the one that I want to use the least. So I'm going to destroy magnet stick. I get some money and I get some more max HP. And I take the bomb stuff and now, in addition to... Sorry, mum. Sorry, sorry. In addition to main weapon, we've got rocket stick. And we've also got magnet stick. Uh, rocket and, and basic stick. Sorry. It's, it's rocket and basic stick. I was getting confused. I was getting confused. Another chance. Another chance. Yo, these are floating eyeballs that shoot bullets. There's no way that this isn't a direct Isaac reference. These, I can't get over how much this enemy looks like the thing from Mistover. And the ghost mum from, from the Sylph, Sylph Tower. I'll try and find pictures and put up pictures of the, of the Sylph Tower ghost and the Mistover ghost face thingies. But I swear, dude. I, I, I don't, I'm not against it. I love it. It's a cool reference. I'm just blown away by how, how similar it is. Also, hurry up and spit out more spawn. I need to farm your children for life and luxury. Thank you. That's it, gang. We're done. We're on our way down Satan's butthole. We have all of our weapon power-ups ready to go. We're going to be alternating and swapping through three weapons, which I didn't get the ice staff. Damn it, dude. I didn't get the ice staff. I wanted to see if you could freeze the Evola, but probably not. Or if you could, then the ice staff is probably just the best weapon in the entire game, right? Dad! Literally this time. Dad! Dad! I'm shooting him. Dad! Wake up! I shoot... I shoot geometry at you. Shapes! Science! I'm shooting science at you! No! Father! Father! Oh, he's dead. That's fine. I guess that's just the way it goes. Oh well, I'll go home now. No, the, 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 blood, the blood tower can stop. Blood tower, stop! It's the Evola! I got hit! Yo, look how cute she is dropping stars on me. Look at Alan slowing her down. Yo, Alan is actually an MVP in this fight, 100%. Which one's her? That one? Cool. I see you, ma'am. I'm not doing as much damage as I wanted to do, but... All things considered, this is going probably way better than my very first time playing against her. Are you mad? I killed you, are you mad? Daddy! I hate how sad she looks. But then she does that, and I'm not sad anymore. <laughs> she genuinely looks so sad when you beat her, and she like sitting there all crying and stuff. It's like she just wants a friend. Can we get Diavola as a playable character? Oh, I lost all my rocket staff stuff. Oh, oh, the eyeball. Alan's already doing work. Alan is already doing work. He's over there. He's after this eyeball. He's like, screw this eyeball, dude. Can I shoot that thing if I jump up? No. Damn. Can't blame a guy for hoping, right? Yo, can we... Can we... No. No. <laughs> Come down, eyeball. Alan is doing so much work. Look at the float. Look at the float. Look at the float. Aha! <laughs> Cordelia's so good. Alan's getting her. Get her, Alan. She's dead. <laughs> Get some. He's still going. He's sitting here. Must have ducked. Probe, but discover how demon work. Poor Alan. I hope he got enough data from just just testing with his little tractor beam right there. But could you? I'm imagining like that little tiny alien out of the first Men in Black, the one that was inside the dude's face, piloting him like a Gundam. I'm hoping a little dude like that is inside that little ship, and he's just sitting there all like, trying to tractor beam this giant demon Satan goddess woman thing, and he's just sitting here, must suck, must suck, must suck. We'll probe for, for... Oh, look! Mum and Cordelia, they have the exact same model. <laughs> Holy crap! Roselia's, like, I didn't realize she was so... Damn! She has the exact same model. That's so cute! Aw, look at that. Memories. What, dude! She's ringing! 
Ah, oh, she's ringing. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. She's ringing. Ah, oh, she's hit with the ring. There you go. There's Cordelia's true ending. We went to hell. We found Hell Mama, and we rescued Dad as Cordelia herself. It was all of. Every bit as wonderful and glorious as I, I could have hoped. We have Cordelia's little golden circle now. She's done her, her true ending. I'm actually amazed I haven't done Jules' true ending because she'd be really fun just to run through because of the weapon swapping. I think she's like one of the fastest characters to blitz through the game for like speed runs and stuff because her basic is a shotgun and it lends itself really well to speed runs. But in any case, um, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing Cordelia's true ending run. But with all of that said and done, I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Cordelia true ending run, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.